So you've heard me using the term Muppet a lot lately, and you might be asking yourself, well, what in the world exactly is a Muppet? And why does Vinny keep calling some of these traders out there on the internet Muppets? What, what does that mean? What could that possibly mean? Why is he saying it? And outside of the Muppet clan of ICT, why is it that ICT cannot count to 9T? Now, we're going to answer all those questions here tonight. What is the 90-day challenge? You guys heard we were going to do a 90-day challenge against ICT. Now, before the 90-day challenge, a little um, travel back in time, as I am the market historian here tonight, to bring you the truth about these frauds and scammers like ICT. And this is our primary focus here this evening. And you need to go back a little bit and understand what is the Robin's Cup and why is it that we're not in the Robins right now when there was all of this buildup and all this lead up from the ICT fraud himself, constantly telling people, come into the Robins, come to the Robins with me. You go, Vinny will never go into the Robins with me. And then immediately as I get into the Robins with him, put up the 50K, go into the Robins, all of a sudden it's crickets. Yes, crickets. ICT is no longer apparently interested in the Robins Cup. And so he's backed out of a live trading competition with me. And so he goes into this narrative. Now, you might ask, like, why 90 days? Where did the 90 days thing come from? Well, let's, let's do a little, little walk into history. Let, come in a little bit closer. Let me, let me show you. Okay, so here we go. Let's drag this on up here. So I made a video a while back. This is the one you guys are going to want to go and look for. Go into my search section on my channel here and look for this one. It's got that 90-day track record of ICT, asking ICT for a paper record of 90 days. Now, you might go, well, why, why would you want to do this? What's the whole scenario with this? And it is because we have come to find out that ICT's little masterful sleight of hand tricks and his cherry picking actually comes from his ability to be sitting there in front of multiple laptops, recording across multiple laptops, tapping away, clacking away, in private, of course, with no one else looking around, recording on all three of these, um, and multiples, because there are also telephones involved, according to his own sons, who are in communications with me. This man is a fraud, folks, and if you want to know how, because everybody keeps asking, well, how can he show these great trades, Vinny? Then how does he show these big, big trades that he takes? Well, imagine you had three laptops in front of you. Let me give you a visual. Hold on one moment. We've, we've gone to some really cool links to give you some visuals, so allow me a, a moment. Hold up. So here we go. Make sure that you are following me over here on at real Vinny e -Mini. I am doing the best work. All right, over here. Come on down. Come out and hang out with uh, me and Mikey and the rest of the crew here out there. Make sure you check out that pinned tweet. You want to see ICT, the inner circle trader, demystified all the way down to where he's lived, what he's done, and all of the BS that he's been spinning for years. You can go check that one out here. But tonight we're going to talk about, let me show you guys my illustrations that we have painstakingly Put together for you guys right here let's zoom in to some of these all right this one here we call the ict cherry picker 101 first what you're going to need to get is get yourself two laptops like a so sit them next to each other relatively cheap ones like ict uses he uses surface pros we've come to find out which is why you can hear that little mushy <coughs> most annoying click sound in the world on touchpad mouses right he's got right here and he away on multiples of these. Now, mind you, this is only two. You can do this with two. Now, mind you, if you are a master like he, you can do three. You know what I'm saying? Multiples sitting right next to each other. Have them all recording using Camtasia. You know, if no, I left Camtasia. I record all my trades. No. Well, he might. He does. He is accurate about that. He records all of them across all of his screens. And then the one that works, that one works. So bing, bing, bing. That one goes to you. Now, this leaves a paper trail. Let's talk about that paper trail and back to why we said, show us 90 days of a single track record on one account. Do you want to know why that doesn't exist? Let me show you why. Because what you have to have is on top of your multiple laptops, you have to have an account right here, account right here, an account right here. So you've got to have multiple accounts lined up on those machines. Now, with those multiple machines lined up and multiple accounts, guess what? You just erase the ones that don't work and the history of this one goes away. Oh, now this will work today. Cool, that one's good. This is why. Now, he claims that it was false. He claims that I've lied. He claims that his eldest son is also lying about the fact that he does this. So he's calling me a liar, calling his family a liar. Okay, well, in that case, then all you have to do, ICT, then is show me 90 days of track record on one of these. For crying out loud, how about 30 days for crying out loud, right?
Whoa, crash the desktop there. That's all right. So we got a few more illustrations there. You guys go take a peek at those. We got some really nice ones there on the Twitter. Oh, that's what, that's a good one right there. We got the two phone action things going, a little tablet action. Oh, we got we got a bunch of uh, mobile devices back here. A nice little cheap way to continue on. Just record a whole bunch of different devices. And, you know, whichever one works, whichever account works. Remember, they're all paper accounts, right? All right, just trading with paper accounts. Bro, you can make as many paper accounts as you want over there on TradingView. And then, of course, pump it, uh, pump it out there and your traders will just suck it up like crazy. They absolutely love it. Now, let's get back to the, so what's up with the 90 days thing? So that video I showed you guys, we requested and said, you know, all you have to do is ask ICT. If he wants to prove that I'm lying and his sons are lying about what they're doing, then all you got to do, ICT, just prove me wrong. Just boom, open up your history and be like, oh, you have any? Bam, there it is. There's my paper track record. The trades that I take every day, boom, there's all of them right there. Look at that. I made 150,000, 20,000, 10 million. Remember this guy makes in three months, he can do 3.5, uh, $5.8 million in three months. Remember when I did that on Twitter? <laughs> yeah, bro. Uh, yeah, with your MetaTrader 4 tricks. Again, uh, ICT has been a fraud for a very long time. And I just find it hilarious, the little softball interview he just did with Corbs. I mean, he found the softest cat in this entire trading industry, go follow Corbs over there. Corbs Trading. Um, again, you want a softball interview, go I guess go ask that guy. But anyway, whatever. People love to be defrauded. They love their ears tickled. The Bible says this is going to happen in the end of days. People are loving the tickling of the ears and following these little frauds and believing in a dream. Oh, all right, whatever. Well, so all he would have to do is show that. Anyways, he didn't show it. And in fact, rather than do that, though, he did... Commit to, oh, uh, I backed out of the Robins with Vinny. I'm not going to do the Robins uh, with a live account against Vinny because uh, 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 Vinny's won four trading competitions and I couldn't have somebody beat me. Uh, of course, he's never been in a trading competition ever, ever. Folks, never, other than when he's entered into the Robins. Let's count them. How many times? Nobody asked him. Again, Corbs didn't ask this one either. Hey, well, I heard you blew the Robins four times. You didn't ask that question either. Of course, he edited the video a lot, so maybe he did ask the question and maybe ICT told him to rub it out. I don't know. But none of the hard questions were asked. But he blew his account in the Robins multiple times already. And then when it comes to, oh, you want to go against me? Because he's like, oh, I'm going to get you. I'm going to beat you. Even he said, oh, my son is going to win the Robins last year. Y'all remember that claim? Oh, my son's going to win. And I'm going to shove that up your asses, trolls. Remember that? Oh, if you don't remember that, I'll bring the uh, I'll bring the audio on that one tomorrow. Or maybe I'll do it later tonight when I press pause and I'll go find it. I don't know. But the thing is, the 90 days. Let's get back to the 90 days. Okay, so... So I gave him the easiest thing he could have possibly done to just prove that what his son has told me and what I already speculated, because I was the one who asked his son if he was doing this, which was confirmed. Then he, all he has to do is just open it up, open up a laptop, any of them with a 90-day tracker. Nope. Not only does he not do that, all of a sudden, though, his, his Muppets, okay, let's come back to the, the word Muppet. What, what, is a, what is a Muppet? Let, let's, let's address that real quick. And why is Vinny calling ICT's stooges, I mean students, stooges, <coughs> stu students, Muppets. Why? Why is that? Let me let's let's give an illustration. So of course we must check it out with the Wiktionary. All right. So let's uh, let's go into the definitions here of a Muppet. Let's uh, come down here. We're going to skip the one of a term of endearment used with a young girl. I don't know where that one comes from, but let's go to the one that we're talking about here. Muppet, a type of puppet created by Jim Henson in the studio, typically operated with one hand of the puppeteer, AKA ICT, inside the head and a rod or glove to move one of the arm of the puppet. Now, a, a puppet also, does it have a brain? No, of course not. It has no brain of its own. ICT students have no uh, capacity for critical thinking to ask for track records, etc. They want to believe in dreams. So empty headed dreamers and inside is a hand. <laughs> Bro, they talk more than any of them. The entire Thug Muppet Network of ICT. We call it the ICT Fraud Network, and that is full of a bunch of Thug Muppets. And if you actually look inside the cult of ICT, you will see exactly what I'm saying. I mean, any critical thinking person, look around you and find the individuals themselves. If you look behind the avatars that they're all hiding behind, you will find either A, a sock puppet account that's a fake account, or you'll find that the person behind it is a little thug Muppet living in his mom's basement somewhere. Between the ages of 16 and 19 is the average age of an ICT student. Now, let's carry on. This is what I mean by a Muppet. And so what do these Muppets do? They are, they are not interested in trading. They are interested in becoming a mentor. Now, 
a, a Muppet mentor? Really? It, it, wh who are they going to sell to? Another Muppet. This is their whole law in life is to sell to another Muppet, which is why you guys keep hearing like, oh, why, what do, mean? why do they keep saying they're successful then? <laughs> they're all out there talk, 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 talking so that they can become a mentor to someone else and sell them some regurgitated education or some signals. And again, anybody can make ICT sound easier than ICT because ICT is very good at making it sound super complicated how you trade support and resistance. Yeah, it is. It's support and resistance. Even the FVG, if you look inside of the FVG, that y'all are like, oh, what about the FVG? Vinny, that's not support and resistance. First, that's renamed. Um, that's renamed wide bar fills. Um, mini gaps. Um, there are a lot of other names for it. He called it FVG. And then everybody's like, oh, it must be an FVG. Because you guys are you guys are the loudest Muppets on the internet. There are zero class individuals inside of the clan of ICT. Just like ICT, a classless buffoon. Now, the Muppets. Let's talk about, so they all, who are they going to sell to? They're going to sell to another Muppet. So listen, if you're not a Muppet, you're not, that's why the critical thinkers come to me. Or other people, like uh, anybody. Tom Dante, anybody with an actual brain is not going to sit there and waste their time with ICT who drags out, drags it out, drags out support and resistance training. All right, let's, let's go on to the next part here. Okay, so we know how ICT runs across multiple, uh, multiple laptops and could be, I don't want to say just laptops because he can also be using tablets. He could also be using phones because you notice sometimes it's on phones. He's got multiple phones he can be recording off of as well. So on occasion, he's like, well, whichever one worked out really well. That's the one that we you know, send and we put a little music around it and fast forward it so nobody's going to look closely. And oh, yeah, man. Wasn't that awesome, guys? Yeah, man. Totally rad, dude. Yeah, dude. Just that ICT train, bro. Did you see that shit? Oh, man. That was cool. Yeah, bro. That was so cool. One day, I'm going to do that. Right? I mean, y'all hear this, right? I can, I can imitate them because I have seen so much of them. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, man. Blows my mind. So we now know how that works. We know how the Muppets work in chat, 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 no brains, right? So it's all bark, 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 no brains, brainless Muppets. Okay, now we talk about the places that ICT actually lived now. Yes, I say lived because yes, now all of a sudden he's bought a house that's the same size as Vinny's because he wants to compete with Vinny. He's like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to be cool like Vinny. Oh, I, got a, I got a $2 million house too, Vinny. <laughs> yeah, that you bought with mentorship money. Congratulations. But the place when he was claiming that he had made his $3.5 million, he is shacking up in this little place as exposed by Guru Leaks. Now, you might think, well, I mean, he said that he bought his son's $500,000 houses. Oh, except for the fact that, oh, we went and found his sons and, you know, the 20-year-old sons are both living in trailer parks. So, ah, just, you know, things just don't add up. Now, I know we've been through all this before. I'm not going to rehash all that here tonight. Let's get into the 90 days that, you know, was like, well, Vinny, people keep asking me, Vinny, what happened to the 90-day challenge? What's, like, where's, where's the next trade? Let, let's talk, let's get back to that. Oh, as I was just scrolling to find the day one of 90, I could not help, but as we passed this one, ICT claims he paid cash for his vets. And in ICT's own video, we zoomed in and we saw uh, leasing of Maryland is registered owners. And yes, we confirmed at the MVU going and getting the motor vehicle records out of Maryland. And it, he's leasing them to fleece. Lease to fleece. Hey, folks, he lies about everything. All right, let's get into the day one of 90. Let's go. Okay, so I know uh, people are asking, look, ICT, all he, he said, just get, show us the login and show us the account. All right, so here are the emails back and forth. And by the way, signing up with the Robins is a pain in the ass. Like they are like old, old school over there. I'm telling you, like you're literally going to talk to individuals on the phone, emailing back and forth, uh, Chelsea and what's the other lady's name? Jessica over there. And then, okay, so then we got our outgoing wires. We got our information. I even posted in here when they came back and asked me what data feed I wanted. They've got all that. All the information is there. So I have proven out today, hey, ICT, I'm ready. We're going to the Robins. Let's go. All of a sudden, crickets. Court. So backed out of the Robins, but we come down and instead, he wants to do a 90-day challenge because of that video that I put out. I'm like, look, he, so he's not going to go to the Robins then and I pointed out that showed like, look, we've proven that he's cherry picking these trades because people keep asking, well, how is he hitting these trades? I showed you the cherry picking. So then he's like, doesn't show it, but he goes, okay, day one of 90. I'm going to show, I'll show you 90 days of paper trading. I'll, I'll show you, boy. Okay, let's, yeah, ICT, let, let's take a peek. How'd you do that? So we did ask some ICT students, so like, uh, what did y'all think about this whole deal with ICT backing out of the Robins and uh, instead wanting to restart another paper account from day one, never showing you the, what, what do you guys think about that? And, uh, Big man thing, yeah. It's not looking good. Oh, well, how did it go? Big man thing, yeah. Rev. 
I don't know what's going on here, bruv. But it's not looking good, bruv. It's not looking good. <laughs> I don't know why it cracks me up. Hold on, one more time. Yeah, it's not looking good, bruv. It's not looking good. <laughs> You're dang right, it's not looking good. All right, so we get into uh, some of the, like, well, uh, ICT really didn't invite you. Are you sure? Okay, let's get into the how big and how deep was the shit talk from ICT. So, Robin's World Cup 2023, who's joining it and ready to prove they are or with login? Okay, um, me? Raise the hand. 2023, come, come on, come on, taking on. Uh, talking is not wasting time. 50k, full login and account balance brings me to the dance. Let's go. Okay, I'm in. And are we going to go now? Now, mind you, he's already backed out of his, he was going to escrow 3 million. I don't know if y'all remember that, all the way back to uh, summertime, you guys. ICT counts on you guys having short-term memory. That is why I, as the market historian, I am putting it into the history. The annals of history will remember these days when ICT was defrauding all, all of you. And you'll come back and you go to these videos and go, ah, yeah, well, Vinny was there trying to tell you, right? Well, he can no longer erase history. And you guys are not going to have to be held responsible for remembering in the memory because I'm putting it here and it will be recorded for all time. All right, so he does it there. Vinny, E-mini. Specifically, me. Oh, the guy who was raising his hand. Me, me, me. You mean the guy who's won four trading competitions already and you keep backing down from? Okay. Uh, you are being invited once again to Robbins to dance with ICT. You promised you would enter this year. I said you were afraid and you stayed on your porch. Come get wrecked like a man. I will be gentle. Any questions on anybody has any questions as to whether or not ICT claimed he wanted to go to Robbins with me until... I went to Robbins with 50K and showed everything and login and ready to go. And I said, look, let's go. I'll wait till February 7th for you. We're ready. You know, I uh, catered to his like, okay, well, I'm going to take kind of time off with my family and all that kind of whatnot. And then, you know, I'll come back in February. Okay, fine, bro. I didn't take any trades yet. I was like, okay, okay, we're here to February. Um, it, we are at February the 8th. I mean, he said he was going to start February 7th. So we are a day past that. Now, mind you, he had already backed out before. And instead of taking time off with his family, all that kind of stuff that he said, now he started talking, talking, talking in January, you know, doing commentaries, typing stuff out, showing fake trades, um, doing his little, you know, song and dance with the, the multiple laptops, cherry picking. So we showed how he was doing that. So, but he has, he's been, you know, you guys, nobody felt like he went away ever, right? He kept saying he was going to go away, kept saying he was going to go away. Bro, he was there every freaking single day, except maybe Christmas Day. And even that day, he was probably working that day too, posting stuff out there. Because he is so desperate to get an audience big enough so that he can sell some books, which are just going to be another waste of your time. But let's uh, let's carry forward and see. So what happened after, you know, he backs out of that. Let's go to the paper trading contest. Okay, well, at least, hey, everybody's excited. They're at least going to be able to see a competition. Okay, he wants to go paper. And I told y'all what the problem is with paper. Paper, you don't have any size restrictions. You can do any size. You are not restricted by the like the thinness of the bid ask on the NASDAQ. So you can go in, 20 contracts, click the button, boom. It, the market doesn't know, doesn't care. It just fills your order. No slippage, just oh, in, out whenever you want. This is going to be so easy. I literally ran the 100K account that we started at because he was going to reset a paper account to 100K. Oh, well, there's some real risk on the table. 100K paper account. Okay, fuck it. I, 100k sorry pardon my french i try and try not to curse here tonight all right i'm putting another put another 100 bucks into the swear jar thing for donations don't let me forget on that so he says um yeah i'm gonna do 100k paper account day one of 90 now mind you did he say i'm gonna start on monday day one of 90 no 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 he waited until he had a big mover on one of his laptops you know lefty or righty was it this one or was it this one was it this one or was it this one? This one? No, this one. No, this one? No, this one. Oh, it's this one. Okay. Oh, this one. This one went 9%. This one went, oh, $9,000 trade right there. Bam. Okay. Okay. This one right here, right here. Okay. This one's okay. Ready? Let's send this one. Let's send this one out. I made, okay, guys, day one of 90. I made 9%, $9,000 on day one. Boom. Okay. Woo. Okay. This is day one today. Mind you, after it's already happened, after he's got a big day start on a paper account. Okay. Day one of 90. You think I'm joking? Let me show you. And the moment we've all been waiting for, here's what we get instead, folks. If you are not disappointed and just feeling so stupid as a Muppeteer of this Muppet, I mean, this is insane. Here, the numbers. So now, yes, he opens up. Again, let, let me roll back and remind you. He was so disturbed by my 
bringing to the table that all he has to do is show 90 days, and he was addressed by many, even his own Muppets, said, yeah, I should, okay, I should, uh, well, that seems reasonable. Why don't you just go ahead and show him? Like, slap him up. You know, you said that he's a liar and that your son's a liar, that you're really not doing that, so just show him. Show him, King. Show him. Show him, Vinnie who's buff. Just open up your trade history. Show him those 90 days. Eh. Well, ICT couldn't do that. Now, County. Now, I'll give you two. I'll give you three guesses as to uh, why. But you should only need one if you got a brain. You know what I'm saying? He can't because it doesn't exist. He doesn't have those track records at all because they're all blowouts, and he just resets the account, and you guys are being defrauded. Okay, period. And so here's the here it is the numbers. Open it up, show on history. Um, you can go and look at the actual trees. I can't like I can tell that that's blurred, but here it is. Day one of 90. Now, mind you, it's, here we go. He's, he's like, Butch, 39.45. But without ICTC, I miss sometimes. But then after the trade day, oh, this this one worked. Okay, so we got the, oh, I got this big trade here. Okay, today I'm going to count today. It's day one. And I'm going to show you guys the implication is I'm going to give you guys your 90 days. <laughs> Why are you all so stupid? What? I'm serious. I got to have a moment. Hold on, I need. We need a moment. Need a moment. Bruh, 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 bruh. Okay, wait. This hurts my head. You guys don't even. You still wouldn't hold him accountable. Are you that desperate? Are you so desperate to believe in the ICT that you're gonna let him get away with this? You you ask him for ninety days, and he's like, okay, well today I'll show you ninety days, starting right now. After I've already made this nine ninety percent, nine percent. You guys, you're gonna believe me, right? Though. I mean, you have to you have to understand why I would call you Muppets and why I am justified in calling you a Muppet. <laughs> you need to own that song right there. That one right there, that's you. Okay? You little Muppets, you guys let your... You guys let him get away with this. Day one of 90 on my paper trading account. Oh, you are a Muppet. He did this on a Friday. So I prepared over the weekend because I'm like, oh, he wants to do this. I didn't know. So on a weekend, I'm like, okay, so no Robbins. The 50K thing putting out there is a waste. No, I'm not going to go do a Robbins if he's not going to go do it because the whole thing is is you can only trade one or two contracts at a time. They give you the worst margins in the world. You, you really can't make that much money in it. The whole point is the gusto of being like, okay, I'll right, right, beat somebody. And if he's not going to give me the opportunity to do that, fine. And give himself the opportunity to save face. Again, look, the guy needs to go through a major PR campaign, which is why he's over there, you know, PR in it with like the CNN lying news network of Corbs trading, K-O-R-B-S. Yeah, you guys could go, you know, chat with him apparently. Um, if you want to give him an earful or you're, oh, pat him on the back. Thanks. Thanks for saving our hero. Giving him some softball questions out here on this little face-to-face -face interview. Letting him, you know, do his little... Uh, 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 uh. Okay, whatever. Okay, let's go. Okay, so a lot of you guys know that, you know, I stream all the time. Been strolling, you know, we did a whole bunch of the new Enigma stuff all the way for the last four months over here on my Algo, uh, Algobox trading channel. So you guys can go check those out from the live stream. So along these, I'm like, okay, I have to take a shift. I see this on a Friday. He's like, okay, I'm up day one. So I'm like, okay, so come Monday, I will start on what is my day two, but I'll call it day one and I will tried to trade through that. And mind you, it was interesting that he did 9,000 on that Friday, but I had actually done 9,000 the same on that same Friday, which was on one of these. I might even done 13,000. I think it was 9,000 after. Uh, oh, it might've been this one. Hold on. Let, let's check it real quick. All right. Yeah. So at this point, yeah, I was up uh, 6,800. Yeah. I think I closed out that day at 9K. You, you, you guys don't find that coincidental that all of a sudden he did 9K that day too. Oh, okay. Whatever. Now, mind you, I didn't know we were in a trading competition at that time because I was just waiting for him to like come on February 7th. Maybe he'll show up and he's going to do Robbins. But, you know, then I hear that on that Friday and I'm like, er, what? So I had announced all over the weekend that, okay, fine. So we'll start day one for me on Monday. So we went through this video here day one. Uh, day two. So again, I can trade pretty big. So that what I do like 13,000 on Monday, I did 35,000 on Tuesday, or it was only a 4,000. Then I did a $30,000 day. And then I did I can't remember see what that one is. But basically over the total of the days when I was trading this, I got this whole account all the way up to 98,000. I was trying to push it to uh, to 100,000. But then all of a sudden, I'm like, where's ICT at? I'm like, oh, the next day, I'm like, dude, I'll push it over 100k by tomorrow. I'm looking and dude, this dude is just, he's gone out here. He's got another excuse. 
He's like, I I'm not trading. I'm going to, I'm not, not trading paper anymore. Like, wait, what? The, the paper guy says he's not going to trade paper anymore. What, what is he going to trade? What, what is his, what's his excuse going to be this time? Oh, oh, hold on. Wait, here we go. Oh, 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 it's the, it's the child. It's the son thing. It's always, if you guys ever notice, all of a sudden a, a, a son or a family member comes up all of a sudden when my ICT stuck in something. Um, he did this a long time ago. If you've been following him all the way back into his baby pip days into here, he used to talk about his nephew. Oh, I'm teaching my nephew, my nephew, my nephew. Again, obscurity. Nobody even knew who he was. How, you know, he's hiding in the shadows. Nobody really cared because he's a little, little Muppet. But then all of a sudden he's getting big. And all of a sudden he's like, like, who are these people? So now it's, it's, oh, now it's the son. And well, apparently look, his, his nephew's not doing too well. Okay. The family over there, like, I feel bad for them. Okay. They're, they're destitute poor. Okay. It's just the, the facts of the reality of it. Um, his two sons I already told you guys live in trailer parks. We sent, um, private investigators and followed them around. Yeah. You might think that might be wrong or whatever. These guys are grown men. They're tw in their twenties, upper twenties, both of them. Uh, one of them younger twenties, but the oldest one is upper 20, like almost 30, uh, living in a trailer park. Okay. So apparently daddy couldn't teach them how to trade. Um, you know, oh, well, hey, they can make their own choices. Oh, I don't want to hear all the excuses. Y'all have excuses for your guy all of the time. Okay. But now all of a sudden, now it's another son. So oldest son fail, Caleb fail. Okay. So now it's, oh, now it's going to bring Cameron all of a sudden. Now, now Cameron, who's not even 18 yet. Oh, it turns 18 on the 14th has zero knowledge of futures. Monster Lab Son Edition. How many times do we always hear him say, oh, I'm going to turn my son into a monster. I'm going to turn my son into a monster. Bro, you're the only fucking monster in the room, and your kids are sick of your shit, too, just like I am, bro. We're all fucking sick of your shit, okay? So, Monster Lab Son Edition. Okay, so now he's not going to do that because he saw me crushing him in the paper contest. He knew he wasn't going to beat me in a paper trading contest either. So now he's like... <sighs> On day four, by the way, because I, I went all the way to day six before I'm like, okay, he's not gonna, he's not trading anymore with it. And so you're not gonna get history. There was no history, <laughs> as usual, as per the ICT, no history. And you guys are still believing. This is why, again, I said at the beginning of this video, I'm gonna tell you guys what a Muppet is, why a Muppet exists, why I believe and I am justified in calling every SMC, smart money concept trader, ICT student, your fucking Muppets. You guys believe this shit. And the guy can't count to 90. That was my whole thing. I mean, day one of 90, really? You, you get to day four. One, two, three, four. Uh, what comes after four? 84, 90. Uh, pff, I don't know. Let me call my son in here. Give everybody the old, I'm the old papa excuse again. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm dying. He's in trouble. Come on, come on, son. Come over here. Yeah, start a, start a top step account. Hurry, top, start a top step account. You know, we're not doing AMP accounts anymore. We already blew too many of those. Mommy said we can't spend any more money. So come on, no more. Let's do some funny money. Yeah, come on. Yeah, we're going to do some top step and maybe we'll get a maybe we'll get a little connection with them too and get something something going. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody's doing trader fundings. But uh, uh, I need an excuse to get out of this Vinny Mini shit because uh, daddy's in trouble. All right, folks, I hope y'all got something out of that. Uh, ICT can't count to 90. You're a Muppet. The end of ICT is near. We're going to take him to court. If you would like to join, if you've been scammed by ICT, if you actually paid him over the last seven years prior, we've got a class action lawsuit coming. If you would like to join it and get your 2000 actually, it was $2,300. If you spent the whole time, you didn't. Have, it doesn't matter how much you spent with him. If you would like your money back, you can join our class action lawsuit. Come over here into our Discord channel chat, and I will see you in there. I'll show you guys the forms to fill out. And my legal team will be contacting you and we are bringing this dude to court. I'll catch you on the next one. I'm out.